Welcome back to Ultra Review, episode number 14. Yes, this series is back. First time in only just nine days. Yep, can you believe it's been nine days since I did my last review? Yes. Yes, it has. Well, the only reason why it took so long to get back is because basically, well, I was trying to do some One Piece. It took a bit longer than I expected, but One Piece is officially uh, on, on break for a bit. Now, it will be coming back presumably when I finish this series up, or basically when I get halfway through 5 minutes. My guess is... It might be a halfway to five man at this point because I'm really itching to get the five man. So, we're here discussing episodes 21 to 24 of Ultraman, the original series. Now, these four episodes are basically called Breach the Wall of Smoke, Overthrow the Surface, My Home is the Earth, and the Undersea Center. Breach Wall of Smoke mostly put is basically about the smog monster. Yes. No, not like the one who appears in um, that one god. So this is basically someone who emits fog. And it's slow to like, kill people. And it's this weird creature comes from the ground. Like, it comes from like a volcano of all things. Yes, a freaking volcano. Well, from a crater mostly. And it basically wakes up from an apple falling into this, open, this water. There's some gas there, some weird stuff. Eventually, it's the favorite Ultraman, and it basically pierces the organ and it falls right back, and the thing, and the thing just explodes. Like, really? Yes, really. It's an okay episode. The very next one is quite interesting. Where, like, okay, here's the, here's the plot. We have this agent from, from, from the Paris branch coming there. Her name is Patrol Officer Annie. Yes, Patrol Officer Annie. And here the Hoot Hayata to become part of the space program. And it turns out that that this person is not this is literally later in the episode this is not really her at all. It's an imposter. Takes out her sunglasses and oh no she has no eyes. Well the problem underground people who basically control a kaiju monster to destroy the surface world because they want to return to the surface. Because they can't stand sunlight. They love darkness. And this one I think is scrubbed like a food cover. It looks like a giant band-aid over their freaking eyes. Yes. It's an interesting episode of what it is. And of course the height that doesn't escape turn to Ultraman and beat the monster at the very end. It's an interesting episode. I'd say probably of these two. Now 23 is a very tragic episode. Mainly because of the fact they're fighting it looked like a giant rock monster. Where it looked like, oh yeah, this invisible rock hitting like this, uh, this invisible wall hitting like ships, planes, cars, whatever. Turns out it's a rock and then makes it into a UFO and then unleashes basically a gigantic monster. Though it's revealed this monster was originally human. Jamia. And I've read apparently this, this monster was originally a French, uh, a French citizen. And despite the fact he used to be human, the science were ordered to destroy this creature. Aida basically doesn't like this very much because he's killing a freaking human. He was mutated to a monster. Now, this basically, like the year when they mentioned the episode when it takes place, this is contradicted by the Return of the Ultraman series in 1971, which came out four years after the series concluded. Yeah, this is retcon basically where it takes place in the 60s, not the 1990s. Bit of an error on basically the part of which people made this episode. Well, that be who made, Return of Ultimate did that. So, this creature, like one point, yeah, one of them, basically the other creature, remember human heart and stops it. And it's like this weird, like, apparently this used to be an astronaut that landed on a planet with no water on it. And this somehow mutated this gigantic creature. And it's eventually defeated after basically some rolling around with Ultraman himself. And Ultraman just basically spraying water on this damn creature. And it dies that way. Creates basically a more for it. I have read online Ben Ferreira, the Ultraman suit actor, did not want to fight this creature at all. Nope, he did not. I gotta admit, his, his suit looks really good. I love the look of the suit. Though it's kind of weird to seem like his face is like basically inside of his torso. It's kind of a weird design, but I love the look for it. It's amazing. Next episode is what basically Doctor Who would call a base of siege story. Where we have, like, this guy who's this president of this company, bringing here with, I think, his daughter, per se, with the 200 visitors to this undersea, like, aquarium. 
and they go to the center area where they transfer via submarine, which I think this is, yeah, this is the same submarine that the Scientor does use. So it's built basically like, oh, and eventually attacked by a monster. At least it's not basically a monster, but on board a place. The monster just randomly decides to attack this place. Breaks the pipe. Adventure attacks the the the, the uh, sensor that that basically we have the captain there, we have Hi Haito the the boy basically there too, with Jenny which basically is actually a big brother to her. There's nothing romantic. One thing he's like probably like a teenager, and she's like a little girl. So nothing's going. On. Just basically a brother to sister relationship basically between the two. And that's why I can tell. It's like he does treat her basically like a little sister the whole episode. Oh, and by the way, in the episode when he calls Fuja Big Sister. Yeah. I have read in the US version of the show where they were in fact brother and sister. The only thing the reason why he calls is because basically he thinks of her as a big sister. Presumably anyways. Though at, though during the episode she mistakenly assumes she's the one who broke the pipe but actually is the monster itself. Which by the way, the monsters these four episodes Excuse me. Uh, the one for episode 24 is called the Gooby Dove. Which seems like basically this creature was the inspiration for Jaws a decade later. Where I was like underwater and battling a submarine. Eventually Ultimate uh, fights him on the surface. Breaks his drill. And eventually fires his demon destroying the monster. It's a really cool looking monster. Though it gets a bit, though I'm looking at is a bit of a redesign for the one they have in the main series. Now, the other three monsters we have here. Jamila, which basically the giant monster. Uh, the same was the Kaiju, that one. And Kermir. Yep. But these four episodes, I would say of the four of them, 23 and 24 are really good. 22 is a bit below that, and I think that 21 is okay. It's a good character moment to that one. Yep. Uh, not much else to say about this one. Just pretty good. Okay, so that's it for of you. Uh, next up is going to be two comic corners. Yep, two comic corners. And then right back to Ultraman for the next four episodes of the series. Okay, next video. Bye.